They are protesting the so-called don't say gay bill. It would limit how educators can speak about LGBTQ topics with students and allow parents to sue if the rule is violated. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean spoke to one of the student organizers and joins us live from Sandalwood High. So Joe, the district confirms that one of those rallies did indeed happen at campus today. Right at Sandalwood here at Atlantic Coast High School at Terry Parker High School and take a look at this video that uh, we just got into our newsroom in the last 30 minutes from Mandarin High School. You can see how passionate the protests happen. Uh, another one at St. Augustine High School. But as you mentioned, these didn't just happen here in Northeast Florida. In Tampa. In Palm Coast. Even in the halls of the state capitol. With about a week left in the state legislative session, just one bill was on the minds of thousands of students across the Sunshine State. The Don't Say Gay bill, as it's known by critics, would limit what educators can discuss with students regarding LGBTQ topics. Students staged mass walkout demonstrations, holding signs, waving pride flags, and demanding Florida lawmakers put a stop to the legislation that they call harmful and hateful. In Northeast Florida, district officials confirmed that students of at least four Duval County schools and at least one St. John's County school staged similar demonstrations. The rallies were, in part, organized by students at Flagler Palm Coast High School, including 17-year-old Cameron Driggers. We had an amazing turnout. We had a lot of kids coming together, even if they weren't part of the LGBT community, you know, showing they had their, their signs and their flags. And it was a really beautiful moment and I'm so glad that I was able to be a part of it. Driggers says it's critical for young people to take interest in local, state, and national policymaking and voice dissent when needed. School officials in Duval County said the protests were all peaceful and staged with the approval of school administrators. That approval from school administrators didn't happen anywhere. In fact, we're hearing that many students were suspended in different districts, uh, not Duval, though. As for the bill, it already passed the House of Representatives and it's been sent to the Senate. It could potentially get debated and voted there as early as next week. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.